Hi, it's me, Charity Lowe, here with Da Vinci Eye. Today I'm going to bring to you part two of me drawing a commission piece of three cats. So let's get started. Currently I have it on strobe with the opacity up as high as it can so I can see the difference between the original photograph and my drawing. My goal is to try to make them indistinguishable from each other. When drawing fur, instead of going in circular motions with my pencil, I draw in the direction of the hair growth. Fur likes to grow outward away from the nose. You probably notice that I use a scrap piece of paper to place on top of my drawing. This gives me a place to rest my hand and prevents me from smearing my drawing. Now I'm working on the third and final cat. I turned off strobe and I went to breakdown mode, turned that on, and then made sure the exposure was in the center. I'm also going to set the steps to five because I have four different pencils, 8B, 4B, HB, and 4H. 8B being the darkest pencil and 4H being the lightest pencil. Now I'm just shading in the red areas with the pencil that corresponds to the step that I am currently on. I like to go from dark to light, but you can go in any order you want to go as long as you use the correct pencil for each step. I am using the side of the pencil to draw in circular motions. This will make it easier to blend later on in my process. Now I'm going to take my tissue paper and I'm going to start blending out the pencil marks, making it nice and smooth. Now I'm going into breakdown mode. I'm turning it off and then on again. I'm going to be increasing the exposure and I'm also going to be increasing the amount of steps to the fullest. This will allow me to find the darkest areas of the drawing. With this one, it happens to be step two, so I'm going to zoom into those red areas and then I'm going to be coloring in with my black watercolor pencil. Now 
Now I'm going back to breakdown mode, turning it off and on again, this time decreasing the exposure and leaving the steps to the fullest amount. And I am trying to find the lightest areas of the drawing. I will be taking my eraser and erasing out those areas. I turned off breakdown mode and now I'm turning on strobe. This will allow me to see the difference between the photograph and the drawing. One of the reasons why I focused on one cat's face at a time is so that when I have to go realign my drawing to the next one, it doesn't have to be perfect because it is a little hard to make it exact and the cats themselves would look all right. With the fur, I am going in the direction of the growth, which starts from the nose and works its way out. The way that I had created the realistic fur is instead of trying to draw lines to represent the fur, I was more focused on the shadows and the highlights that were created by it. I hope that made sense because I don't know any other way to explain that. Now it's time for the finishing touches. So right now I'm just using a wet paintbrush and I'm going to be darkening some of the black areas that I used with my black watercolor pencil. For example, the iris, the nose, part of the lip, and some of the fur. Now I'm going to be taking some white acrylic on my small paintbrush and I'm going to be working on the really bright highlights. So the catch lights on the cat's eyes, a little bit on the nose, the whiskers, and then also a few small details on the flowers. This is pretty much the end of my video. This drawing was a success and the customer absolutely loved the drawing. If you have any questions about the app, you can contact the creators at info at davinciiapp.com or if you have any questions about my technique or any future video requests, you can contact me directly on my Facebook page or Instagram at Charity Lowe's Art. If you like this video and found it useful and you want to see some more, don't forget to subscribe to the DaVinci I app YouTube channel for more videos like this. 
have fun, experiment with different styles, techniques, and mediums, and most importantly, don't stop creating. <laughs>